And that changes as you go through life. I mean, my first favorite kind of music was heavy metal music. Yeah. At the time yeah. that I was young, heavy metal was like uh, Ozzy Osbourne and the Scorpions and things like that. They're yeah. like considered probably classic rock if anyone still listens to them at this point. <laughs> and, uh, but then, you know, then I grew up a little bit and or sideways or whatever it was and went. I like started like new wave music more and stuff like that. Um, YouTube. Or, that was when I was in high school. So now I'm kind of like I mean, I still like simple questions and more than a lot of other kinds of things. Yeah, so that just evolves. That's always you're always getting in, in inspiration. From what is your most recent amazing musical discovery? Um, the musical discovery. That's a good one. Um, oh, <laughs> but I need to practice. It sounds really bad. But I've been kind of coasting on like a skill set for a long time. I call it light. And I've just been recently. I call it the high life because I'm enjoying practicing, kind of boring practicing, which isn't really news for most people, but for me it was sort of like, oh, yeah, yeah. if you're not confident about what you're doing, you're just, I think a lot of times I used to be practicing as this sort of chore to get skills that I wasn't sure if I needed or not, but now I see that I'm more um, confident about stepping in front of people and it, and it almost worked today. Um, um, oh. How has the Portland Thank culture cultivated and influenced music? Portland culture? Well, I would assume that it has quite a bit, because it's the only place I've lived since I got out of high school in Salem in 1986. It's a pretty wonderful town. It's a great town. It's changed a lot since I've been there. It's um, all the music I've done was born there. You know, I mean, it came out of living there. You know, you asked about the December, it's really, well, if I hadn't been living there, I wouldn't. And I walked into a music store at the right time. A friend of mine said, hey, you should go to this audition. I heard about this band. He a drummer. And, you know, it's just, it's just being around. That's what Portland is. If you're there for a while, things come up, and people need people to play with them. And, of just being in the right spot. But it's just real livable. That influences me. It's not um, a place you would go to... Uh, maybe more important is people go there now to have a career in music because it's kind of a hot spot that has been considered one. But when I was first there, it was just the biggest city in Oregon, which is where I grew up, and so that's why you have to live in the to play. I don't know. It's just fate. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Uh, so patient. How is life as a parent? <laughs> oh, it's great. It's great. Um, you learn, learn a lot about yourself. Whoa. Do you like Whoa. listening to your dad's music? <laughs> you should say no. It's okay. <laughs> Sometimes she tells me to put my guitar down. Stop playing now. <laughs> or don't sing, Dad. Because you can do, like, you can do the Ba Ba Black Sheep and the book, like, we'll read it in the book. Why don't well, you say it? It's not singing that. You know, so uh -huh. sometimes she tells me I'm going to do that. Fatigue. <laughs> All right. And finally, what is your favorite location in the world? Favorite location in the world? Well, what is my favorite location? Santa. Santa? Santa. 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 North Pole. Okay. North Pole. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> Santa's workshop at North Pole. It's a pretty awesome place. Pretty cool place. Louise helped me. Good answer. Thank you. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh and Frosty too. We gotta go. We gotta go. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna see him, babe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, thank you very much. My pleasure, Thank you.